What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get this video started, let me remind you all that we are a bilingual and international channel. And we post two new videos each week and one tool review each month, both in English and Spanish. I haven't posted any videos because I told you guys that I was gonna get a job that I was gonna end up in June. And that job took a lot of my time and I didn't want to post any random video just to keep up with the weekly uploads. But now that it's all done, we are gonna go back to the original schedule for the ones that are following this channel. And for the new subscribers, we post two new videos each Saturday. And with that being said, let's get to the video. On the last tool review that I made, it was the floor fan from Harbor Freight, but now we're gonna do an unboxing on this fan because I need a bigger fan for my shop. I bought this fan like a month and a half ago and I got it on sale with the members only club. The regular price of this fan is $169.99, but I got it for 99 bucks. It was a deal too good to let go, so I bought it. But I didn't have the time to put it together, so I had to wait until I have some free time to do it. First thing you have to do is to take out the base of the pedestal fan, then install the spring inside the pole, and after that you install the engine on top of the pole, and then install this metal guard. To install the pole into the base of the fan, you need to bolt down five screws with their nuts that goes on the bottom. These are 10 millimeter bolts and nuts and you just have to add some washers. When I unbox this fan, the fan housing has a crack. That's the way I got it, but after 35, 40 days, I'm not sure if I could get a new one or a replacement. So I'm gonna try it out like it is. To install the engine on top of the pole, it's a very simple task. You just need a three quarters socket and ratchet. And you just need to install the long screw with this butterfly plastic nut. Then we install the back of this metal guard to be able to put the blades on the fan. Now it's time to install the blades on this engine. It's held on by a 3 quarters inch head bolt. When you install this blade, you have to center this blade right up in the middle, not too far and not too deep. This fan is very powerful and also a bit noisy, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna work great 
on a larger area. This fan has three speeds and you could adjust the height of this fan and it swivels up and down and side to side. So you could point it any direction that you need. Later on, I'm gonna do a follow-up review of this fan installed on my shop. And I also, I am gonna modify this fan like the last one. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.